Hi guys, so I've got one of the pistons here that we're using. We're using uh, a Molly forged piston for this build. It's a dish piston. Um, these are really good uh, quality pistons that we've chosen for this build, and it is a stroker piston because we're building a putting a stroker crank in. We went with a dish piston because we wanted to keep the compression ratio down to the point where it was streetable, probably about nine and a half to one with the heads that we're using. And so we did go with a dish piston here. Now what we want to do to check our clearances, and you can see that this block, these are the correct pistons for the bore size that we have, but we need to verify that. What you want to do is you want to mic your pistons. Now piston manufacturers will tell you where to mic the piston. You always want to mic it on the skirt that's clearance to the bore here, which is opposite the the, the pin, the gudgeon pin, or the or the, the wrist pin. Molle says you want to mic this a certain distance down from the top. I measured it, and their their measurement puts me right about in the middle of that skirt. We're going to go to the middle of the skirt, and we're going to measure this thing. And we just want to get a measurement on our piston here because we want to check our bore size and our clearance and make sure that everything is good. So we're going to take a a micrometer reading here on the piston. We're going to lock our mic in place. Now we have a reading that we can use to set our bore gauge up. 4.0735. 4.0735. And actually, because of what our bore size is here, that makes a lot of sense. But we want to check the clearance and make sure that we're good. All right, so we've duplicated our piston size here. Now we're going to take and we're going to put our bore gauge in here. And what I've done, if you can see, I have zeroed out that bore gauge based on my piston size here. Now when I put this in the bore, I should see the difference between the diameter of that piston and this. So what I'm showing here is I have about five thousandths clearance. and that's consistent all the way down. Four and a half to five thousandths clearance, which is really close to where we want to be. So according to Mall A, these forged pistons, we need to have about four and a half to five thousandths clearance, which is really exactly where we are. So this, this thing is really good. right on five thousandths there. Another thing we want to do, and again, I've already done this for all the bores, but when you get a bore job back, you want to verify that your bore is the right size. Okay, so we don't want to see any variation from the, the top of the bore to the bottom of the bore, and we don't. We really got, I've checked these. We also want to make sure that you don't have any out of round, so we're going to go and we're going to check the roundness of the bore, we want to make sure that we have the same reading all the way around. And of course, we've thoroughly checked these out, and these bores are really good in size. So additionally, forged pistons required a lot of clearance. You had to have like 10, 12 thousandths clearance. But these new Molle pistons, the piston manufacturing processes and the materials, they, you can run these much tighter now, and it kind of eliminates piston slap. Our clearance is exactly where it needs to be. These are things that can't be overlooked, you guys. You've got to check this stuff.